All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about momentum here. All right, remember, we write momentum as P equals MV. That's it. That's your momentum. If you want to talk about a collision, right, an elastic collision would mean bouncing off. So you come in with five momentum, you leave with five momentum. An inelastic collision would be coming to something and then sticking to it. You're inelastic, so you come in with five, and you hit with zero. So that's elastic, and that's inelastic. Very good. You guys should have that. Now let's look at impulse. Impulse is a force. And we write it like this. We say it's a force multiplied by a time. That is your impulse. It's force times time. And we set that, we really set that equal to change in momentum. So your impulse, right, your F times T, is equal to some sort of change in your momentum. It will change your momentum. So I give you guys some practice problems that deal with both P equals MV and also F or I equals F times T. We'll write impulse as I is equal to F times T. So try those problems out. Do, do some work.